All right, so this is going to be my drip irrigation video. Uh, I know I think I mentioned it in some of the comments or one of the videos before that I was going to show how I was going to set it up. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be it. I'm going to post a link uh, up right now um, or into the side probably as well for uh, Garden Girl TV. This is going to be almost an identical setup to what she has. It was the most uh, simple, simplistic setup that I could uh, that I could find. As you can see, here's all the parts that I ordered uh, online. I got a couple from uh, from Home Depot. And while, uh, while this may seem like a lot of, uh, of crap. It really is, uh, is not. The main thing to look at is that this half inch tubing, which is going to be my main line um, behind all the beds. And then there's quarter inch tubing, which is kind of just, you know, where you connect all the emitters. But as opposed to having the multiple different types of emitters, since all my beds are relatively the same, um, and there's a little spout, these little round emitters, all different kinds with some with pegs, and you can check it out online. You guys probably know a whole lot of it. But I'm, again, doing pretty much the exact same setup as I saw with using this also quarter inch drip line where... I don't know if you can see it right here, um, but there's a little hole here, and uh, this is, yeah, every six inches um, they have those lines, and since what I'm planting is all the, basically the same peppers, tomatoes, and some other things, I'm basically just going to put them in the beds and kind of wrap them back and forth. So anyways, the main thing to think about is to not get overwhelmed with all this stuff, because a lot of these connectors are like, those are um, stoppers you put at the end of the line, there's some elbow connectors, and then... These things here are valves that you can control the flow of the individual, um, the individual uh, quarter-inch tubes that uh, that come out, and I'll show you that. And then just like here, that stakes to tie it down. Those are more tie downs for the quarter inch line. These stakes are for the half inch line. And then these I'm going to put on the back of the fence to hold the line down. So anyways, it looks like a lot of junk. Um, but again, really the main three things is the half inch main line and then running these two lines off of it connected by all this crap. So I will try and show as many steps as I can along the way and uh, yeah, we'll start there. Alright, so this is step two and basically I took the setup I had which was this hose that was just run down here and connected here and I added a splitter um, so I can now, I bought another six foot extension so I can run that to the main, the regular main line. And then the second part is, uh, yeah, there's the filter and everything. It's not the best setup right now. Um, to more visually just have it hanging there. I may, I'll probably bracket it with something a little better than um, just uh, just the uh, the zip ties here. But just so I can kind of get a feel for taking the line, bringing it across, and that's going to be the first part. I'm not going to punch any holes in this until I got this line of a hundred foot all un all untangled. Uh, I'm going to take the next step, which is following just in the steps of the other video I saw, and I kind of started out right here, just taking the back of a hammer and uh, and digging down you know, all the way right in front of the fence here. I'll lift up one of these bricks, dig underneath it, and then just let the mulch cover the rest. String the line all along the back of the fence. I had those little um, electrical wire ties that I'm going to put down there. And then I'm going to run it, the line up and underneath and behind as low as I can. I know the water can flow the whole 100 feet back up there. Anyways, come up here and along the back of, uh, of that bed. So that's kind of the next step. So that's all I'm going to do here. I'm not going to show you the boring process since, well, really don't have another person to hold the camera while I'm, uh, while I'm doing it. But that's the next step is just to dig it out, put it under there, put the whole step or the whole feet to 100 feet, which may not take all of it. And uh, yeah, then I'll show the next step, which is probably that being done, and then obviously then adding the uh, the drip lines that come off uh, come off that main uh, half inch line. All right, all right. So I'm going to show this step, and the camera work will probably be horrible. But basically, taking a hammer and just going through the grass. It's not. Uh, it's actually pretty soft because we've been getting a lot of rain. And uh, but just digging, 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 and just starting the line. Even though this first pass won't get it all the way. Um, but that's pretty much it, and I'm just gonna keep digging that all the way across until uh, it gets deep enough and go right, uh, right into uh, to the bed area. All right. All right. So I figured I'd show this uh, this next step, which is uh, digging the line. I know I said I would probably wouldn't show these steps, but I'm gonna show them. Anyways, I dug uh, just this one little trench. This should be all I have to dig. I don't know, it's a couple inches deep. It wasn't too hard, the ground, especially when the ground is soft. Just be careful. Um, yeah, I knew there's lines in my yard. I wasn't exactly sure where they were, and it's not like I was cutting through them with the saw and, like, the two-inch depth. I mean, as soon as I was pulling through and, you know, the, the hammer would not move anymore, and so I stopped pulling. But just, you know, be careful um, when you're going through. 
uh, as you're not going to electrocute yourself. Again, I just kind of stumbled on these, but <laughs> you would need, I don't know what kind of brute force strength you would need to rip through that wire with a, <laughs> with a hammer. But I'm still alive, so it's all good. But anyways, um, this sits nicely into, uh, into the hole, and then I'm just going to put it under the mulch and, uh, yeah, run around. So I'm pretty sure the next step will be me showing it all in place. All right. All right, so here we go. Got it all uh, it's buried under the ground. It's gone under there. It pops out. And, uh, yeah, just put the little, um, these are uh, actually electrical brackets that I got at the store and just screwed them in place. It's about every five feet on the, uh, on the fence, but it comes up. And I haven't completely buried it, like, perfectly, but I basically put it in the ground um, with kind of with wire stakes that go on either side of it. But, yeah, it comes up through here down you can kind of see right there I got more pine straw I gotta obviously lay up in this bed up here um, goes around around the corner here you can see one of the uh, stakes that you put in the ground out the back this was a hundred foot uh, half inch and I still got uh, I don't know it's probably 15 feet maybe a little more um, but yeah so uh, next step is going to be adding in uh, the drip lines and I'll show probably just a couple of those because it's pretty much repeating the process all throughout uh, all throughout the back. So, yep. All right. Cool.